you all. Sorry we got cut off. Um, I didn't bring my timer in here. I'm really, really unorganized today. I guess y'all can tell. Um, but anyway, we're going to take our four pieces of paper. And we are going to fold them in half this way. And then cut them in half. And they don't have to be perfect because we will be trimming these uh, more than likely. All right. So, cut these in half. So, this is going to be like about five and a half inches. Measure your paper, uh, especially if it's coffee dyed because it does shrink it up a little bit. This is supposed to, you know, in, in America, it's, uh, our pieces are eight and a half by 11. I, I don't know what they are, you know, uh, in other countries, but instead of this being 11, it's just shy of 11. It's not quite, um, you know, an eighth less, but anyway, like I said, we're going to be trimming these down anyway. So I am not going to obsess about it being exactly half. All right. Still doesn't look right. I'm telling you, my eyes are crooked. Okay. So we have these pieces, and now we want to measure the height of our book because we want it to, to fit within that. And so this piece is about five and one, two, about five sixteenths. So little bit over uh, five and a quarter inches so I'm gonna go to about um, I'm gonna cut mine about five and eight so measure yours because your paper may be a different size than mine this isn't much too long but a little bit Okay, before you cut your other pieces, you know, you want to make sure that that is going to fit. And it is. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one at five and an eight. Okay, so these should be about the same size, and now we want to check if we fold this in half, if it is going to fit within our seam, and mine will. So, now all I have to do, if it did not, you're going to have to trim off the edges. So, you measure from here to here. You know, you take a little bit off so that, you know, it's not going to get caught in either fold. And let's say that, well, let me just give you an example. We know that that is about four inches in between there. Um, actually, it's a little less than four and a quarter. So you could measure four and a quarter, but then once this kind of grows a little bit, it's going to be in the way. So let's just say we measured it at four inches. Because your page is going to be doubled, you need this to be eight inches. Okay, does that make sense? So, but mine works in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold my eight pieces in half. And we're going to pretend, well, you know what, I can just fold them like this. And I, then I'll have to fold them separately and stick them inside of each other. If you want to, you can cut a cover to put over this, like I did on some of the ones that I showed you. Once you get your cover put on, or not, then you just sew this in right there. And then you can close that over. Whoops, look at there. I thought, oh, because of that. Nope, you know what? It, I should have measured within here because this does close over that. So now mine's a little bit too long. I could fold like that and like that. That'll work. Okay, so that's fine. So that was right measuring there. Um, but this folds in like that and like this. And then this is your flap. So that's perfect. 
Now, if you want to, you can add a pocket here. You can make a double pocket, you know, taking, uh, you know, a piece of paper, say like this. Of course, you'd want to, let me just show you. This is about, about five and five sixteenths. This will not be perfect because I don't have a 16th mark. Okay, so I could take this. No, it's not right, but that's okay. I, I don't care. You know, I can always put a piece of lace if I hate it, you know, or whatever. I'm just going to center it, and it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to obsess over it. And you can take your paper and fold this up to however deep you want your, your pocket to be, and this will end up being two pockets. I'm just going to line this up so I can get this fold kind of straight. There we go. So, now I can glue this and that down, and that makes a pocket. And then glue this and this down, and that makes a pocket. If you use regular paper, you're going to need to account for turning this under a little bit. And turning this under a little bit, or out either way, however you want to do it. And gluing that down to reinforce your tuck spots. So then that'll glue just like that. And then if you wanted to, and this is going to be your flap, so you don't really want a pocket here, but you could, in theory, put a pocket here, and you could put a pocket here. So that's all there is to this. It, it sounds a little complicated. You just got to, you know, pay attention to your measurements. Make sure, you know, you, you get this in here, um, you know, where it is short enough so that this will all fold up and not get caught in your folds and keep it from, you know, laying nicely. Of course, if you're like me, once you embellish it, you know, that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done. Um, so that's all there is. I'm going to cut this one short because I don't, you know, really like to do more than two, uh, you know, for any one project. But I did want to finish this up, and then uh, I will be back, um, I hope, later to do day 10. So y'all have a very, very blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me. Please, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you would. Um, be sure to go over and check out G's channel. I'm going to link uh, the the her video of the inspiration for this in the comment section. Um, I'll also list her social media information. Please join her on all her um, social media pages. And if you're not a member of her Facebook group, you are certainly missing out. So go over there. Um, it's Happiness and Crafting on her Facebook. You know, request to join. Um, she will approve you. She does a, a Friday freebie every Friday. When you make your projects, you can post them on there if you want to. We'd love to see them. Um, and just enjoy. Just have a great, great time. That's all this is about is, is crafting and having a good time. Okay, I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.